Hi everyone, this is Martin and I'd like to give you a brief overview of the new version 097 of Omnitile Standalone. So um, this version um, has taken a bit longer to develop and that's because we have one big new feature which uh, was quite a task. But let me first go through some of the few um, smaller issues that uh, we solved and the one thing that was requested was to be able to zoom the pattern, uh, the editor. So right now you can change the, the size of uh, the window and um, it will also be saved and restored the same way. Okay, so that's the one thing. Um, the other thing is um, a 3D preview. So let me load a preset and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I've loaded this pattern and here it is. Now we have uh, all the features that you need, basically rotation, moving, zooming. Um, we have different objects. You can use a cube, you can use a sphere or a plane as you've seen just right before. And you can also change the size of the viewport, of course. And um, let me just give you some examples to uh, give you a better idea. Now, um, to uh, reflect to the modern physical-based rendering material workflow, we've implemented the PBR material and the standard material, which is basically the setup of um, diffuse specular glossiness, and the PBR materials albedo or base color, metallic and roughness. So uh, you can change the material layers here and if you have different layers here and they are filled with bitmaps you can select them in the material setup so um, okay let me just give you some examples for example oh no first let me show you a little bit more of the setup uh, we've implemented HDR lighting, uh, HDR lighting sorry and uh, we've included eight different HDRIs to give you some examples of how uh, the light setup could change. So uh, I'll set up a material that reflects a bit better what's going on here. So, um, okay, let's take the edge map. And now you'll see, um, I can change the amount here. And you can see now that, no, let me choose a little bit better. Yeah, you can see here that the gaps um, reflect and that, that's not supposed to be. So basically uh, I want the opposite. And since the edge map is a procedural map and I can change the gradient here, I can just swap the colors. And um, when I use these colors, for example, you'll see that the um well, let me take a little bit darker okay so now, now you see that um the gaps don't reflect and uh, the, the tiles themselves do reflect and that's because i've swapped this so um you can still change tiling here of course or which is new also uh, change the tiling here and it will automatically be changed in the viewport. Now I can change the resolution of the preview map which is generated up to 4K, but it obviously takes a bit longer to calculate and show. I can change um, the HGRI or point lights. So let me take this one for example. Now you can see a little better how the um, glossiness or roughness map works in this case. And I can use change the background from black, dark gray, gray, bright, and show the HDRI. So let me take the plane, maybe that. Yeah, now you can see a little bit better how that works. And um, the cool thing is now you can still ch use all the features of the pattern editor. Let's say I want another tile. I'll just add this, um, add some rotation. And there we go. So 
just change the, the entire material including all the layers that are that are available here um, with bump which are these and uh, they all appear in the viewport so it's pretty easy and pretty straightforward I think to change materials create materials and render these out and um, I'll give you a few more examples to give you an idea so let's take uh, wood pattern for example so material setup and the roughness is in this case I'll take the bump map reduce the bump a little bit and um, yeah, that's that's how it's working um, show you another view with an HDRI um, this one in the studio because we have some colored lights give a very nice reflection on the on the floor and I can change the pattern let's take this one or maybe this one and everything is almost real time it takes a few moments to calculate these maps depending on your settings but uh, you get a get the idea I think so um, yeah, that's it. Among some other fixes, this, this is, these are the main things that I hope you like it. And let, let us know if you find anything, if you have improvement suggestions, since we really want this to be the tool that you like and that you want to use in your workflow. And uh, we're always happy to know what you need. Okay, that's it. Um, and download the demo if you didn't. Already, it includes a full-featured version uh, for 15 days. days sorry, and um, yeah, a lot of textures that you can use as the base for your patterns. Thank you for watching.